Well, we're here today at West Gippsland Arts Centre to interview two of the leads from Warrigal Theatre Company's production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So, welcome to Kate Taylor and Joss Brooks. Thanks, very Morning. Much. How are you going? Good, Rob. How are you? I'm well. Kate, really close to opening light. Mm. How's it all going? It's very exciting. Um, it's going really, really well. And we can't wait to be in the theatre next week. I think everybody, there's a real buzz at rehearsals, isn't there? Mm. Yeah. Um, and the excitement's really building. Now we've got so many in the cast who this is their first show ever. Yeah. Some of the young ones, a lot of A lot of young cast, isn't yeah. it? Children's and cast. And just the excitement. They can't wait. So, yeah, it's going really Have well. Have they had a run on the stage here already? Um, not in a way that would capture that feeling and that excitement. So I'm really looking forward to seeing their faces because that, it's just, that's part of it what I love. Mm. Just what's production week like for you? I've only done a couple of shows. You've I'm done it twice. You did Guys and Dolls yes. <laughs> and you did Carmen. Yes, yes. And there's a similar sort of feeling that comes around every time I think where you kind of gone through the grind for several months in rehearsals but when it comes up to the, the month of and then when you bump in things really kind of come together very, very, very quickly. They make sense and they don't make sense at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's kind of this real sort of fast polish that happens and it kind of takes you by surprise really because you yeah. think like a month or two beforehand you're like oh is this really coming up work? soon yeah is it going to work then yeah. it kind of comes together so yeah. Yeah, i think it's yeah, terrific it's exciting terrific so what have been the highlights so far kate for me it's been the children yeah i love the children i part. saw you there last night at rehearsal and i've got to mm. say i think the children like you a bit too we yeah <laughs> uh, I think we're just getting on and we love it. I love working with them. We've mm. got some really, really great children performers actually yeah. really on the ball, really know what they're doing. But they just love it. They're enjoying it and I'm enjoying, you know, watching them have a great time. Well, you're so. the narrator, so you don't even get off the stage, do you? Not really. And I guess my role in the way that Michelle structured this production is to tell the story to the children. Yeah. So yeah. that's why... That's a lovely idea. ...this relationship between me yep. and the children has really developed and is, is quite strong. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to reach out to the children in the audience as well in that same sort of way. That's and that great. they'll relate to me through... Now, I'm sure you're not saying that this is a show just for children. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. it's. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's great for kids because it's so upbeat and there's so many terrific songs and colour and there are all the kids in it but there is obviously the music is mm. from all different eras and all different styles and he did that specifically it's very eclectic which is terrific and um, we've got terrific we've got an Elvis impersonator going yeah, on on stage yeah. and it's you know everyone's gonna love it so Joss are there um, any gags in there especially for the grown-ups <laughs> Just has a dance that's especially oh, for grown-ups. <laughs> Joseph the dancer. Yeah, jo Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Oh, oh yeah, yes. yeah. Sorry, <laughs> that's a bit of a bum yeah, and grind moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, I mean, the whole thing's very family friendly, but it's a lot of tongue in cheek sort of. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, oh, it's fun. It's that's, fun. That's I look great. forward to mm. like my. Uh, brother-in-law and sister are going to be coming with their kids and I look forward to all of them coming. I know there'll be moments that my brother-in-law and sister are going to love and that my nieces and nephews are. I can't wait to yeah. talk to them about, you know. Well, I know Warrigal Theatre Company have certainly pitched this throughout as a real family-friendly thing. Mm -hmm. Presenting the thing at 7.30 in the evening, that's a great idea as well. To yeah help families make it easier for, for bringing the whole family along. It's a short show it too, is. It so, is, yep. so hope, what we're hoping is that it will be really a nice length for adults and children alike and yep. it won't be one of those where you, the audience is sitting there going, oh. When's it going to win? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's don't sing that and, song again. Exactly, it's, yeah. it's quick and it yeah. runs through and everyone can yeah. go and, you know, get a nice dinner afterwards. That's for sure. Nasal. Yeah. Um, one of Lloyd Webber's first musicals and it's... Uh, it's certainly not Phantom of the Opera. Do you think it's stood up? Do you think it's stood the test of time? I love it. Yeah? I love it because I can see his later works in it really clearly and I can hear them. Oh, there's little bits of Superstar and all sorts Absolutely. of things. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's really interesting to me, but um, I, I really like the, the way the show's put together. I really like the music. I like the tongue-in-cheek nature of the music. I think he's good when he takes something yep. and he uses it and he imitates it and moulds it like he did with Cats and he took T.S. Eliot's poems and he used those. And I, I actually think that's when he's at his best. Mm. And I really like the music in this show because it's so fun. It's it's supposed to be an Elvis impersonation. It's supposed to be a hoedown and it's supposed to be these sort of tongue-in-cheek musical yeah. moments. Yeah. I think that's clever. So myself, yes. Yeah. So we know there's a, there's uh, there's a there's an Elvis bit. 
Yeah, and, uh, I, th- I think a bit the whole of country and western bit, the hoedown. Yeah. What other musical styles, Josh? Ooh, there's a go-go. Yeah. So it goes back into I think my mum's era. Yeah. <laughs> um, 60s or 70s. Yeah, Af- yeah. Af- Look, it's all over the place. It's really mm. fun though. It is, and it? everything like it is. It's very toe tapping. And at the end, we finish off with a, a mega mix. A like mega mix, which has the eight, everything eight, all at once. Eight, so well, it's early 90s yeah, piano track, going through. All the yeah, genres kind of put yeah. in the one. Yeah, and it's really fun. Mm. So we get to kind of finish with that, and everyone walks out. So every production of Joseph's that little bit different because of course it was originally all you had with the words. Uh, it's a complete mm. sung through. There's no, you haven't got any lines to learn. You've just got the lines of the songs. What are the hardest songs to learn? They're all quite are they? easy, I would think, to learn. What about the colours? I think they're easier for him than the colours. Was a bit the colours was hard to learn. I think and how's it going? I, think I wouldn't bore you with reciting <laughs> them all. <laughs> Blue <laughs> and green and azure and oh, don't, topaz. Don't and make this happen. I think, <laughs> I think it's easier for him than for me because his songs are very melodic yeah. and... <clears throat> fairly self-contained. Um, we have the colours, which is a list, mm. but I have a list of brothers. Oh, yeah. And I, Zebulon appears Zebulon a lot. appeared <laughs> a lot in that list yeah. during rehearsals. When in doubt, Every brother was Zebulon. Zebulon. Yeah. 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 Levi never got a look in. No, I don't like those jeans. We did that with the colours at first, though. Yeah. Because it was blue, blue and, and blue, blue and blue. Yeah. <laughs> so poor, poor Levi, the brothers had to stand up at certain moments when I said their name. Levi, no. Uh, Never got to Zebulon did it all the time. Yeah. So hopefully we've managed well, to. Well, maybe they could have name, big name tags around their neck and that'll help prompt you. Yeah, that's what, what I need. What an idea. Too late now. No, we could have done that, couldn't we? Right. So what should audiences be looking forward to? The special Warrigal touch to Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. We well, I think you've already given it away. I think the idea of you narrating it with the children, mm. that's really clever. I think I love how Michelle's done this in that she's really put me in the show. Mm. So the actual characters in the show can see me. I'm, I'm telling the story from the beginning to my daughter. Yeah, um, lovely. Yeah. And then she disappears into the story. Mm-hmm. And I continue to tell the story sort of to her and the children in the audience. And that means that the characters in the story, including Joseph, can see me. Which is great for me because sometimes you know, like can feel a bit like a yeah. Yeah. You don't want to alienate yeah. kind of yeah. these, these separate parts of the show. You know, mm. and the narrator is as part of the story as anyone in the story, uh, which is really good because mm. there are parts where I am completely oblivious to someone narrating what's happening to me there, and there are times where I'm interacting with that, and you know, she's mm. singing about poor poor Joseph, and I look it up at her like. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty sad. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I've created him and everybody else in this story that I'm telling to kids, so it's nice that I get to, to be in the story with them. Mm. Right. So, Joss, what's your favourite moment? My favourite moment? The end? <laughs> there were a few highlights <laughs> for me. It's a bit tricky. Look, I would actually say close every door personally because yeah. first and foremost, I love the music mm-hmm. and it's very big. All of the children kind of come on through that song and it's it's... I feel one of the most real parts of Mm. the show Mm. because the show is very fun, it's very tongue-in-cheek, but but there's an underlying real story in the whole thing, and that is this this boy finding his, his, you know, following his dreams and, and, you know, what the song sings about, finding a land of his own, and, and, you know, and and I think that for me is, and it is one of the kind of, crescendos of the first act yeah it is and uh, yeah that, that i would say yeah. that because i know it's going to have this kind of more real quality bring it down to a grounded area where the audience can relate it's very emotional song. yeah it is mm. it is mm. what's your favorite bit kate uh my favorite bit well i like just dancing it up yep. at the at the end of the first act and at the end of the second act yep. i mean that's, that's the great. go-go yeah yeah and um and i think when we um were auditioning we knew that that bit would be a really fun bit to get to do together, didn't we? Mm. We look mm. at that bit and thought that that would be yeah. a really fun bit. And that's actually happened for us, um, just to dance it up at the end of the first act. Mm. Just terrific fun, yeah. Now, this is the second time you two have played opposite each other. You played Carmen and, uh, and, and, and Don Jose, was it? Mm. Don? Yes. This Don is a very different, different experience. <laughs> Slightly different experience. Different. So at the end of this, you don't get to stab each other or anything? No. no. no I nice. don't get to stab Not them. unless it really <laughs> annoys me. <laughs> I get to be a good guy this time, which is nice. That's great. (laughs) That's great. Well, opening night, Friday the 17th. Mm. Everybody get along. I think tickets are selling very heavily for the Friday night. Mm. Uh, And the Sunday matinee is very solid and closing night. But um, 
uh, in between. People should uh, get along, get their tickets, bring the whole family. I, I know the box office is getting big group bookings, so that's mm, fantastic. That's great. People ringing, booking 10, 15 tickets. That's just the family. Mm. So that's, that's fabulous. So good luck with it all. All the best for uh, production week. Thank you. And um, we'll see you on stage. Great. Thanks very much, Ron. Cheers. Thank you. Well, there you go. I'm looking forward to it. What about you? I think you should get your tickets.